Hey guys, JJ Riley here, and today I want to talk about some controversy that I've been seeing on Twitter lately. I know that's that's not going to end up well. And there's just a panel been flowing around saying, where is the entertainment in this, right? They just took a random panel, which honestly you could have taken any panel from Berserk, and just said, hey guys, what is so entertaining about this? And everybody who reads Berserk uh, is messed up in the head. Basically, that's what they were saying. And for those of you who know, Berserk is, you know, a dark, twisted fantasy. I mean, it literally, from the first shot, you know, I can tell that this guy or uh, any of these people who have been, you know, complaining and uh, very angry with Berserk, I guess, because the first shot is literally, you know, guts clapping some demon cheeks. I mean, it, that's literally the first shot. So if you're not offended by that, if you're if you're offended by that, then yeah, th this manga is not for you. There's been quite a few people have been saying, what is the point of reading Berserk? If it's so terrible and you see such vile demons, you know, doing killing, you know, sexual assault, what is the point of reading this? And I really want to talk about that because I think it is very important, right? Why would you read a story where half the story is just people being tortured, killed, or raped. Now we have to understand the world of Berserk. Now, if you read the manga of Berserk, the world, it's essentially hell. You know, demons and monsters, they roam across the earth. The world is absolutely not someplace you wanna be in. And the way that Kentaro Miura draws, he's not doing so to, let's say, just do it for shock value or just doing it just because he likes these things. The reason he draws and shows a lot of these travesties in war, it's because he's trying to illustrate a dark and twisted world. And a lot of these panels and shots is to illustrate how fucked up this world is. No Berserk fan is ruling, woo, sexual assault, woo. N nobody is doing that. That's not what they gravitate towards you. That's not the message they're seeing about Berserk. Now, Berserk's world, there's monsters, there's demons, all trying to kill you, rape you. It's it's the absolute worst. I mean, I'm going to show you some screenshots of the monsters, and it's absolutely atrocious, this world to live in. It's a terrible world to live in. I can't em emphasize that enough. So why on earth would I read or watch something that has so much travesty and so much heartache and loss in this world? It's because of humanity. And what I mean by that is our main character, Guts, goes through some terrible things in the manga. He goes through something that no human should ever go through. The thing that makes his character so compelling is his willingness to continue. There are many themes overlapping in Berserk, but a big theme in Berserk is trauma, PTSD. And a big part of Guts' character is moving on. But how do you move on from something so horrific that's happened to you? How do you go on living when all that heartache and trauma has caused you nothing but grief, pain, and suffering? How are you able to go on and move on with your life when almost everything has been taken away from you and you are felt left nothing but rage, hate, and regret towards other people, but more importantly, yourself? How do you come to terms with acceptance and not feeling this regret that you have? And that is a big message in Berserk. And that's something that a lot of people can relate to. Not exactly what Gus went through, but they can feel of having that regret. They can feel that hatred. We all have that hate. But the question is, what do we do with that hate and how we go about moving forward? And that's a message in Berserk that is powerful. That is the reason why people gravitate towards Berserk. Kentu Mura has some fucked up shit in the manga, but that's to illustrate a dark fantasy. Th th that's what it is. When you read Berserk, you realize just how horrifying the creatures, the monster designs, and the world really is. That's why it's so powerful seeing our character keep moving forward, despite of all the terrible things that have happened to him or other people around him, he still has the power to protect them. And that is a powerful message in Berserk. Now, that being said, 
Berserk is not for everyone. I, I understand that. It deals a lot with sexual assault, you know, a lot of gore, a lot of violence, and that I understand with. But to go around and, you know, call other people's names because they enjoy it and you don't, eh, it's, it's, it's not really helping. And vice versa, you do the same thing. Because if it really was just about shock value and just about gore and guts and just killing, the reason why people have kept tuning in to see the next chapter, because Kento Miura has wrote a compelling story. That is why Berserk has sold millions and millions of copies. Otherwise, it wouldn't. If it sucked, nobody would have read it. It's as simple as that. That is why people love and connect with Berserk. Anyways, I don't know. Well, what do you guys think? See ya.